hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll be publishing a report with a sub report to jasper server so it's very simple then you actually think it so i'm just going to delete this report yes yes no and uh, here we have jrxml files so i'm going to create a new folder one second one second okay so i already have a folder called src so i'm going to use the same folder or else i'll create a new folder for a bit confusion a little bit of confusion sorry new folder and i'm going to give the folder name as um, sum report with sub report Okay, so I'm just going to right click on it, new Jasper report file, let's click on next. So I'm going to save this in this. So we'll make it two reports, one will be main report and other will be a sub report. So I'm going to use the same database connection, next, finish. So this is going to be my main report, I'll just make it. static text so this will be main report I'm going to remove all this files for now I don't require this this so I'm not going to show I'm not going to show you a full flesh sub report I'm just going to show you an example of how you work with the sub report okay so this will be main report so in the summary i'll be actually submitting a sub report for this we need to have another report new jasper report click on next and this will be a sub report next select the same data source next So here this will be a sub report and we will just name it saying this is sub report. Okay. Just good thing. Okay, this is sub report. So I'll delete everything. I'll just give it a color just okay so back oh sorry foreground color will be red okay mm. and main report will be something else so let it be look simple playing with colors <laughs> so how to add a sub report you can actually drag it from your palette from basic elements on sub report yes select an existing report yes sorry select a report file go to your workspace browse and we have a sub report here just select on sub report click on ok so it's better to actually when you have the report in your same folder you can actually remove this okay you can actually remove the whole directory when you are having this sub report in your own repository so we have the reports a main report and sub report in the same folder so that is the reason i have repo removed this report with sub report okay this is not necessary so this is a good practice actually when you're trying to publish a report in server this helps you very much so this next so use this use same jdbc connection next so if you have any parameters to map you can actually map them so for now i'm not going to go in that deep we will discuss that in studio tutorials okay so main report sub report so we'll just preview this whether it's working nice so why it's saying empty because we have not passed any query here so i'll just make it select one as one 
okay so that means it's working so I'm going to make the same with my sub report select one as one you need to have at least one one active query running in your report so okay so just click on preview we'll see what happens main report sub report is not there because we need to compile the sub report compile and compile preview so run it right so your main report and sub report is ready so actually we remove margins for uh, sub reports to actually fetch it in center right I need to again recompile this sorry first you need to compile uh, compile the sub report and the main report so I think it's almost center align so I'm just going to click on publish open your Jasper server and in the mine report itself I'm going to publish the report which is where we have another folder when we are where we have other report in it so test with server but I'm going to give some different name with this so main report with sub report so you can actually make it main also but I'm just giving it a name main report and sub main report with sub report okay I'll click on next so we have as it shows that this report contains a sub report so if you have any list of sub reports this will be listed here I'll just click on next so you can use the same data source connection for this so data source head to database finish so that's it we'll just go and check it in our reports whether it's working or not so we have a main report with sub report I'll just click on it so that's it so main report and sub report both are working so here you might be a little bit confused that where is my sub report and why it's not showing so when you're trying to publish a report a main report which contains list of sub reports so these are all combined in this report itself I think I'm not sure but we can check and edit so yes in uh, when you click on the report when you click on the report click on edit and click on controls and resources so we have a sub report dot jrxml which is dependent on main report so in this this way you can actually see your list of sub reports there so that's it guys this is how you can actually publish a report with sub report in Jasper server so it's very simple you need to make the whole separate setup in the studio itself and publish the report in server it's as simple as we think it so that's it guys thank you for watching